How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1. You can see I'm running iOS 5.1 right here on my iPod Touch. We're going to use Snowbreeze version 2.9.2 .2 on Windows. So I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1 on your Windows machine using Snowbreeze. Now the first thing you want to do is to put your device into DFU mode by holding the home and the power button for 10 seconds, releasing the power button after 10 seconds, and then continuing to hold home for 10 additional seconds it'll go into DFU mode it'll be a black screen now this again only works with a four devices and below so that is not include the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4s now make sure you have the firmware for 5.1 downloaded for your device and also snow breeze you can find that on iDownload blog you can look at the post on iDownload blog go ahead and right click on snow breeze make sure you run in compatibility mode and run it as an administrator make sure you run compatibility mode for XP double click on it to load up snow breeze click OK here on this first screen and then click next there now browse for your firmware here's my firmware for my iPod touch it is 5.1 it verifies the IPSW file click next and then you want to select simple mode right here from the screen here so once you click on simple mode You'll see this screen here, extracting IPSW. It'll take a while to complete this. So I've sped it up considerably for your convenience. It'll go through this. It'll take probably five to 10 minutes to create this IPSW. Once it's complete, click OK on this screen. And then on this screen here, the DFU Poner, just click Start because your device is already in DFU mode. If not, go ahead and put it in DFU mode. But we already did this step at the beginning of this tutorial. So once you have your device in the DFU mode, it should just be a black screen. Make sure it's plugged into your computer, etc. Click Start, and then it'll say Prepare to Press, and then you'll see it running iReb. Once iReb is completed, you'll be in pwned DFU state, and that allows you to restore using a custom firmware with iTunes. So that, that's all this is allowing you to do, to restore using your custom firmware, which should now be on your desktop, courtesy of Snowbreeze. So close out of Snowbreeze, and then locate the firmware on your desktop, load up iTunes, and then you should see iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode, that's fine. And then you wanna hold shift on your keyboard and click on restore and locate the firmware that Snowbreeze created. Make sure you choose the right firmware, make sure it has Snowbreeze in the prefix, and then select that, click restore, and it'll extract the software waiting for iPod. You'll see preparing iPod software for restore. It'll go through the restoral, and then you'll notice on the screen of your iPod or your iPhone or your iPad 1, whatever device you're using, you'll notice this right here, the little snow breeze icon. I'm speeding things up, like I said earlier, to get through this. This takes a while. This is just like a normal restore, except you're restoring using the custom firmware. And this will include Cydia, so that'll allow you to install all your favorite jailbreak apps and tweaks and whatnot. So just hold your horses here. This takes quite a while to complete, but of course, like I said, I'm speeding it up for your convenience. So we'll just be finished here in just a moment. So just wait till this bar continues to load here. And now it is almost completed. Just a few more seconds and we should be there. Okay, and there we go. So. You see the Apple logo, and it's going to reboot. And once it reboots, you'll see this little loading bar one last time. And then you should see iPod right here, or iPad, or iPhone, whatever device, as long as it's an A4 or below device. Now, once you're at your home screen, you should notice the Cydia app icon there. If you tap that app icon, watch what happens. It doesn't load Cydia, because this is a tethered jailbreak. You need to perform a tethered boot in order to actually use Cydia. You'll need to do this anytime you reboot or power off your device. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. All you do is put the device back into DFU mode. Make sure, of course, it's hooked up to your computer. So hold the home and power for 10 seconds, release the power, and continue holding home for 10 additional seconds, just like we did initially in this jailbreak tutorial. And once you are in DFU mode, you want to get to your desktop because you should see a new folder there on your desktop after you ran Snowbreeze called iBooty for 5.1. You wanna double click that, open that up, you should see iBooty.exe, and then it's gonna load up, well, iBooty, which is a boot tool which allows you to perform a tethered boot on your Windows box here. So once it loads up, you'll see this, and there it is, iBooty version 2.3. Select your device here in the bottom right-hand corner, iPod Touch 4, and then click on Start. It'll search for DFU, and it'll exploit with Line Rain, and this will allow you to perform that tethered boot. So basically, all it's gonna do is boot your device so that you're able to use Cydia. 
So you need to do this, like I said, any time that you have to reboot your device or it powers down or your battery discharges or whatever, you have to do this. Now, once it is complete, you should see your phone or your iPod or your iPad load up like this. And you can see I'm on 5.1. You can tell from that camera icon on the lock screen. And now we're gonna swipe over here and there is City. I can load it up like that. Now I don't have, of course, a network connection because I didn't set that up, but you can see this is how you jailbreak iOS 5.1 on your Windows machine. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.